inspecting the idle air control valve, also known as the IAC or back bypass air control valve. It is just a simple resistance test. And your resistance should be 7.7 .7 and 9.3 ohms at 73 degrees Fahrenheit, 23 degrees Celsius for you European Celsius people. When it's hotter than what the rated uh, Fahrenheit scale is, you have to add a little bit of resistance because heat will increase your resistance a little bit. Since it's 80 two degrees Fahrenheit today uh, we should be looking at about I don't know 8.5 to 10.5 something like that somewhere in that range so in order to test that we need our multimeter we're gonna set our multimeter at the 200 scale and the car does not have to be on for this test and here's your IAC connector on the 93 2.0 automatic anyway uh, this test is only going to be valid for the 2.0 automatic all right so we have our probes in we are getting 10.0. So that tells us that the IAC wiring resistance is good. This is just a real quick test to see if the integrity of your wiring to your IAC is intact. That's all this test does. It doesn't tell you if the operation of your IAC is correct, just the wiring. I'm just gonna keep doing all these little tests that I find in the manual and we're just going to keep probing and probing and probing and eventually we'll come upon something but so far my IAC wiring is good so that's that that was a really easy quick test huh bet you didn't think it was that easy now the rest of the test for the IAC valve is to remove your IAC from your throttle body put it in the freezer until it hits 32 degrees Fahrenheit remove it from the freezer heat the valve with an air dryer and verify that it moves forward in in outward direction and if it does then your IAC is good and that's all there is to that and that one might take you an hour or two to chill it that's a pretty neat test but that's all there is to testing your IAC I'm not gonna actually remove it from my car and do the test but that's how you do it cool